going to be talking about hay spears. <clears throat> Everybody's always asking me why we use a certain kind of hay spear we do or, or why don't we do this or do that. And uh, I just felt like it was a good, today's a good day to talk about why we use what we use and what's been working for us. Um, now this is a homemade spear. It used to be a set of forks. Um, we actually got get these spears sometimes with the collar piece. You actually cut you a hole and you slide this collar piece through and you weld both ends of it and then that, that will allow this tap to screw on the end of this and you can slide the spear in, which most of the modern spears, that's the way they are. We only have one on a lot of our spears, no bottoms, which the bottom spikes, all they're good for <clears throat> is to keep the bale from from twisting side to side, if that's what you want it to do, um, and swaying. So say you spear it and you want it to hold it a certain way, that's really what the bottom ones are for. They don't do anything really for lifting the bales. The big center one's the only one it does. Now if you'll notice, this spear is really slim and skinny. <clears throat> These are actually hardened spears, which uh, a lot of them are, but they're not uh, there's some of them that's softer than the others and they're more prone to bending uh, These actually will break uh, the biggest issue we've had with these this style of spear is it breaking right in here Over time it'll keep, keep wearing and it'll break. These are actually I think forged uh, Ones because they're rough you can feel them where they feel like they've been beaten with a uh, in a big uh, hammer <coughs> Forge or something that was hydraulically done but i don't know it, they they're they're different than the other spears i'll say this we've had in the past where they would some of those would bend on the end we've had spears that would do that these will break before they'll bend um <clears throat> but all we use is the slim spears we don't use uh large fat spears we do have one large spear left from the old days when I was younger and then we didn't have uh, we used to use chamber balers like the uh, chrome chain chamber baler with no belts or because um, <coughs> the chains they won't pull the center of the bales down as tight as the belts will or form as dense of a bale uh, the older ones wouldn't the newer ones arguably will um, still the cores won't be as tight as the belts uh, but if you'll notice this one's the same way it was another set of forks that was converted to a spear um, <clears throat> Now what the advantages of using the small spears for us is if you'll ever notice most people will stab the bale in the, This end in the flat side when it's laying sideways and then They'll reach up here when they get to these top ones and then dump. Now the bottom one, we'll do the same thing. We always dump it off the end on the bottom. But the top ones, you'll see a lot of people, they'll, they'll try to dump it off the end of the spear and get it on top. We actually, with these smaller spears and only the single spear, will spear these bales from the side. They can be a pain to get in, but we'll like dump it off next to the side of a trailer. You can see there's a hole now from where we speared one. Uh, we're off the side of a trailer and then we'll push it in it that way or I'll dump it off in front of the stack once I get so many stacked up and it won't push it back none and I'll stab it in there that way and then pick it up and set it down and then pull it out um, now with these spears here they'll actually pull out of the sides or the ends fairly easy there is a little bit of a technique on the ends when you do it you kind of have to do it a few times you kind of got to put down just enough pressure and tilt it back and then they'll slide out um, it takes practice to do it, but I've gotten pretty good at it, and so has my dad. Um, <clears throat> but that's what it's, you can get. It's easier to fit. One reason why we do that is it's easier to fit the third run in these barns that we have uh, with it turned on its end. Because when it's turned on its end like that, they're only four foot wide because it's a four by five bale. Now, if it's on this side at the top, which is what we used to do, it's a foot taller, so it makes it harder to get it in between the rafters, and sometimes you can get into them and bust them. So we started putting them all on their edge, and it, they fit a lot better that way uh, in the barn. Um, and one way we found to stack them a lot easier is actually to pierce them in the side. 
Uh, now, if they've got paint on the spear, if you buy the spear new and it has paint on it, uh, it can take a little while to get the paint wore off to make it easier to get it out. Uh, forks are a pain. The bales will rock side to side. When you get them up there and set it down on top of the other bales and go to back out, they'll the bale on top will slide out. Sometimes the bale on the bottom will try to pull over too. Uh, it can do it with a spear the same way, but it's not as bad. You kind of got to, uh, there's a technique to it though. Like I said, you got to push down a little bit and tilt the spear just right and you can pull it right out over time. But with these higher density bales, sometimes it, uh, it can be tough um, and you can't even get the spear in the end if I make them so tight with that klaus. Uh, and you have to spare them directly in the center. Uh, that's one thing about <clears throat> these uh, the belt uh, near belt balers that are real dense baling balers is the centers will be really tight just like the outside and it's, sometimes there's just not a soft spot to grab but uh, <clears throat> that's what we, one style. We'll walk out here and look at another style. Alright, now here is a blue diamond spear. I actually like these spears a lot. They come with a spear like we like on them on this. It still has paint on it, so it does stick sometimes. Uh, this one actually still has the bottom spikes on it. Um, <clears throat> they So far on this one, they've actually held up good. When they get to be a pain is when they start to get a bend in them. Uh, that's when they start becoming a pain in the rear end to get out of the bale or get into the bale, and it, it just becomes a nightmare. But so far, they've done okay on this. Uh, they're nice if you want if you're stacking hay out loading hay out on a trailer which is primarily what we use uh, this spear and there's another one that looks the same for on the new Holland uh, uh, out in the field or loading hay with those uh, they work pretty good because you can turn the bales just the way you want them and hold them there um, now let me show you why we don't like those Okay, all right, now this is a bale of hay that I baled back in the early spring that was completely soaking wet. Uh, we got caught out in a rainstorm baling and I lacked a few bales. And I just knocked them out, went ahead and baled them in the rain. But if you look, this has been sitting here probably since April. The bottom has a flat edge to it, all right. Well, when you got those three spears on and you spear this, you can stick it in a little bit before the short spears go to stab in the bale and rotate this bottom flat side upward. Uh, but it can be a pain. It's easier if they're not on there and you can just stab the spear here and then pick up and this bale will actually rotate this flat part to one side. And let me tell you why we do that. All right, if you're new to the channel, probably haven't seen it before but this is what we put all our hay out with in the winter uh, we lease a lot of land we have land scattered over that we lease four counties multiple different pieces of property that we have to take hay to so the prime choice of vehicle to feed cattle in the winter is pickup trucks all right well when you load those bales that are down there that's got that flat bottom in the back of this. If you put that flat bottom across here flat, you can't get that bale hay out. I don't care how strong you are or how fast you throw this thing in reverse sling out. That bad boy ain't coming out of here. So what we found we do, which we're not the only ones that does this, is we'll stand that flat side up right up against this rack and you're probably wondering why do you want to put it right up in the rack well if you put that flat side of that bale that i showed you all at the very bottom right up against this rack this whole area over here is round so when we go to hit the brakes to get it to come out the back or if we get out and we push it out by hand as it rolls out the back by the time it gets to the flat side that won't roll on it's off the truck that's why we don't like the bottom spikes on the spears it's that way we can rotate the bales so make it easier for us to get out of these pickups um, this is our prime thing to feed with it's dirt cheap it doesn't cost us a lot in insurance fuel 
keep it up or whatever it's just an old beater truck that we don't worry about if the cows bump into it or something we've got uh, a white one of these two uh, old brown here a lot of y'all have been watching the channel for a while y'all know this truck very well um but y'all see later this winter we actually put two bales in this truck and then we go to each farm uh me and dad do throughout the day and we feed our cattle that way <coughs> now here is a large spear this is actually old homemade uh, this spear actually came out of a frame for another uh, out of another spear uh, this is a very large spear I don't know if y'all can tell this thing is a pain in the butt to get in and out of a bale of hay this is actually the spear that goes on the front of the 5400 if you ever noticed when I'm loading hay with it in some of my older videos it looks like the spear only goes into about here that's because you're correct it won't go much further than that and then it's a pain in the butt to get it out of the bale of hay. These spears are way too big for these higher density bales like the Klaus makes nowadays. Uh, we went away from them. I actually need to get one of those inserts I was talking about that you weld in here and a new spear to go on that. I've been aiming to do that for a while and I haven't done it. <clears throat> but that's one of the bigger spears. Um, again, no bottom spikes on it. Uh, here's a set of hay forks. We actually just use these for pallet forks to move pallets around in salt and stuff when we get it in our trucks for the cows. I've actually got another set that's on the skid steer, the New Holland uh, track loader, uh, that are the flat actual fork set. This is our old set. Um, we got these years ago. These things are a pain. You can't stack hay on a trailer good with them. Uh, there's no stack in a top run if you do. You have to tilt the, the forks over and slowly drag out from underneath the bale. And then it's a pain in the rear end to get them back underneath the bales on the top to get them off. Another thing is, is even when you scoop the hay up off the ground, it sometimes gets hung up underneath the net. And then it causes it to tear on these pieces. Uh, the flat style, same thing. It can cut them actually. They're so sharp on the end. Uh, when you stack them on their ends in the barn, uh, it's a pain for that too because sometimes the hay will stick up here or on the bottom side It's just a pain in the butt um, If you're used to it, and that's all you've ever used it probably might work a little bit better for you But we used to use those and we hated them And then we went to spears and once we got used to the technique of actually what to do and how to use a spear You couldn't pay me enough money to go back to those uh, They're terrible uh, for handling hay the way we handle it now if you stacked it in rows like down there at the next to the trailers where I was showing you a lot of flat spotted hay it works okay for that they actually work really good for that um, but other than that I mean as far as stacking on like the 40 foot big text there and other trailers and then in the barns and stuff they're a pain in the rear end they're nowhere near as nice as these these are actually blue diamond spears now the other thing i get asked all the time why don't you use double spears i'm going to be honest about it the reason why we don't use double spears is because one with two bales wide i can't tote it in and out of these some of these barns no bigger than the openings are two <clears throat> the old do it's is normally what we load all our hay with out in the field and that would be a lot for it to carry two of the Klaus bales at one time. Um, the other tractors, the cabs, like the 47 and the 5400, obviously, uh, or this maybe even even the 383, it wouldn't be that big of a deal to tote two at a time. They're more than capable of doing that. But generally, we don't use those out in the field for loader work other than the 4710. Um, if I had double spears on a spear, my grandfather would probably end up on whatever it was on running it and he would probably forget about one of them and wind up and hit something with it i'm not saying that in a, in a bad way or anything but i mean he's older his uh reactions and everything aren't the same as they used to be hell i might even hit something with it so it just it it's easier for us just to tow one at a time and then have one on the rear um maybe someday i might rig one up for me to run with two on it but as of right now no we're just gonna keep sticking with all one it's it's playing fast enough just with one i don't need to um 
that's just what it works for us and how it works um, I know not everybody does it this way not everybody's gonna agree with everything I'm saying and that's okay there's nothing wrong with that I can't agree with everything anybody else says either um, 90% of stuff I'll agree with most of the people I watch on YouTube and stuff but there's always that 10% that I might do things a little different than you and I don't agree with that that's fine that's just the nature of being a human I mean it's just part of it but some people everybody has a different preference if you like forks that's fine whatever I don't care that's what works for me so thanks for watching please comment rate subscribe and I'll see you next time